Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I think I've only put up one video this month which was my scrummy box and I can't apologise enough. I was so ill during April. I think I had like a cold or like a spring flu um, but it knocked me sideways. Like I was in bed most of the time and just trying my best to get through like my daily life but I didn't have the energy to concentrate on anything else. So my blogging's basically gone out the window. My YouTube definitely did. Um, I had a few schedule posts on my blog, but I haven't been keeping up with it every day like I wanted to. And I had so many good videos planned for April, but it's fine because luckily I can still do them in May. So watch out for those. I'm luckily back, obviously. And I'm hoping that with the better weather and with me feeling better, I can start cracking down on them and getting more organised. But obviously, as the title says, this is my April favourites. I don't, I've picked out 10 products. I haven't really used that many new things this month. It's just reusing some old products that I had. And while my lighting just changed, I'll just say that if it goes from bright to this colour, then brighter. It's only because the sun's in and out, basically. But I've been waiting a week and a half for some sun so that I can at least take some pictures and make a video because I've got about seven or eight videos that I need to make for you guys. And um, there's basically been nothing in my area. It's been so grey and miserable that I haven't been able to record. And I think instead of buying more makeup this month, I'm definitely going to have to invest in some studio lights. So, yes. Anyway, long rant over. Let's just get into my favourites. Firstly, I'm going to talk about a kind of makeup, eye makeup favourite. And this is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray um, Eyeshadow Primer in Light Medium. And it says you can use this for an eyeshadow primer and a concealer primer. But I find this too orange under my eyes for my skin tone. But on top of the eyelids as an eyeshadow primer, it is really, really good. I find that it cancels out any of the small veins that I have. Which obviously, with being sick, my veins in my eyes are under a lot of strain because I always go from contact lenses to glasses, contact lenses to glasses, and when it's bright and dull and hay feverish and sinusy, it's just a recipe for disaster. So I've really been liking this. My eyeshadows stay on quite long with this, not as long as my Urban Decay Primer Potion, but they this does have a really good kind of base for your eyeshadows. And yeah, I really like this. I would definitely recommend it. This is just a sample size, as I said, but it has lasted me the whole month. I got it in my birch box last month, I think it was. And um, this is going to last me quite a few months, probably until it dries up. But yes, I've loved that. And then another Benefit product is the Benefit They're Real. This is also just a sample size of their mascara. And I have a love-hate relationship with this. This month, obviously, I've loved it. And I'm not sure if I've added it into another favourite video. I'll have to go back and check. But usually when my eyelashes misbehave, I hate this. I hate this mascara. Um, but when my eye... I guess it's not even the mascara I hate. It's the fact my eyelashes are misbehaving that I hate. But when my eyelashes are well behaved, then this mascara is the best thing I have ever tried. I'll show you the brush. It looks like this. And it does pick up quite a lot of product at first. And then it's got the little spiky bit at the end. Which is great for getting into the corners or doing the under eyes. I find that this does not budge. Once I've curled my eyelashes and put it on, it's not going anywhere. I don't feel like my eyelashes are deflating during the day, if that makes sense. But sometimes when I put mascara on, my eyelashes kind of just sink to like a straight line. Um, but this is great. And I think the only... Well, it's not so much of a problem, but it is hard to get off. I don't know if anyone else has the same problem. But I've tried the L'Oreal by Phase eye makeup remover. I've tried the Garnier by Phase makeup remover. I've even tried Bioderma. And the only thing I find that actually gets this all off of my eyelashes is the simple eye makeup remover. Which is crazy because I don't really use that many simple products. But yeah, I've absolutely loved this. And I would definitely recommend picking it up. At the moment, I've got this and another sample to get through, but then I think I'm going to go purchase the full size because I like it so much. And I, as I said, I would definitely recommend it. I'll have a blog post up sometime during this month about this too. Moving on to lips, I've got the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the colour Romantic. And again, this has really just been a touch and go product. I've This is like the only, except for lip balms and a few other lip colours, this is the other, only other one I've reached for this month. Um... Because it's so easy to use and it's more like a lip balm more than lip 
lipstick like today I'm wearing a lipstick and I would need a mirror to reapply this but these I really don't need because they are so moisturizing and easy to apply but this is just a really nice it's kind of like a well I've half swatched it on my hand here but it looks a bit more vibrant in my viewfinder than it actually does in real life it's more like a pinky red and I just find this really easy to use as I said and because I've been feeling ill I've been using bright lips as a way of putting together the fact that I'm not wearing so much makeup so today I'm barely wearing any makeup but I've paired it with a bright lip because I think it adds just that it just looks like you've made that little bit extra effort you know you know what I'm saying and um it's been one I've been reaching for so that's why I put it in my favorites and then next is a moisturizer which I've been loving and this is the Origins Ginger Rush Intensely Hydrating Body Cream. I got this back in December when they had the um, Christmas orders and they were giving away free deluxe samples of this and this smells incredible. Like I wish there was a fragrance of this because I would buy it, definitely. It is so nice and citrusy and fresh and just refreshing in general, like you put it on and it it's not cold but it's cooling to the skin and then it goes on really nicely it's lightweight it absorbs quickly and my skin feels moisturized the whole day and so I don't feel like I constantly need to reapply any moisturizer to any areas so I really love this I'd really recommend it and I think anyone who doesn't like the smell of this is crazy because I don't even like the smell of ginger and this is absolutely incredible and such a nice springy summer smell next Sticking on, I think this, out of my favourites, this and the other product I'll show you after this are my two favourites of the month. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. I'll try not to get all the reflections of half my room in there. But it is gorgeous and it's £28, so it is a bit more on the expensive side. But I completely went for the hype and I'm so glad I did. I have no regrets because it's gorgeous. Look at this packaging. It's got a really nice size mirror on the inside too. And this is what the colour looks like. It is a really beautiful kind of like baby pink but a bit brighter. Like a hot muted pink. But then it's got the radiant lighting marbleized within it which is really nice and I assume because they're all made differently like the marbleization is different no two of them are the same and that's what I really like about the product I've got a full review of this on my blog so if you want to see the swatches then I'll link that down below but this has just been giving me a nice healthy glow healthy ish as healthy as I could look this month and I find that no matter what makeup look I'm doing so whether it's a matte or a dewy foundation look this is just so universally easy to use like it's so easy to blend it is just great to build up if you want more color i'm wearing it today but i've only got the tiniest amount on today and i find that i don't need a highlighter with this even though this isn't that shimmery like it's more the color is matte but then the um, the radiant light that's marbleized within it has some shimmery specks to it i guess you could say but it's gorgeous i can't say enough and i as i said i've got a full review down if you click the link I've got it on my blog and I go into a lot more detail and there's swatches there so go check that out and now my favourite product of this month literally is the Bodhi Neroli Lucy Revitalising Face Oil or the Body however you pronounce it um, but this packaging is gorgeous too like look at it I love the little ribbon and the little sticker and I actually opened it from the bottom because I didn't want to ruin the top that's how I'm a package hoarder but any single, every single Bodhi item that I got, I have taken out of the packaging and I've put the packaging on my shelf. That's how proud I am to have it. But yes, this is basically, it says that it's to revitalize and rebalance with skin toning Tunisian Neroli, re rejuvenation with the frankincense and restorative sea buckthorn oil. And um, I'll give you a close up. I don't know if you'll be able to read it because it is quite small on there. But it's for normal combination, dull, tired, or blemish prone skin. And you can, I use mine morning and night after my cleansing. I put two or three pumps in my hand and I basically, at night time, I massage it into my skin. And then in the morning, I only use maybe like one and a half. And I basically just like dab that in because this is really good for controlling any oil as well. And I'm not an oily person, but with being sick, I have got a few oily patches on my skin 
but this also really makes for a really nice like hydration to your skin as well which I absolutely love and as soon as I put this on you can tell a difference it's an instant product like instantaneous product that you can see the difference um but it's gorgeous it does come out yellow and when I first applied it because I had to do a 24 hour patch test first I first applied I was like oh I was like that's yellow like yellow yellow and um but as soon as you apply it to your face it completely turns into the color of your skin obviously otherwise you'd be walking around with a yellow face but I think that's what adds to the nice radiance in it too. I'll definitely have a blog post on this very soon. Like within the next few days I'll have a blog post on this. But I also like the fact that it comes with a pump, which is great. But the actual pump has a lid for it too. So not only does no bacteria get back into there, it's kept like dust free and everything. And it, you don't get any of the build up in the nozzle. I don't know if you would with an oil but if you would, you won't with this one. So I really like that. This is a 15 mil, and I think it's £32 or £35 for the 15 mil. I'll have the link down below, and obviously, if you subscribe to my blog, then you'll see the review of this up later this month. But this is my love product. I'm going to use this until it's all finished, and then I'll cry about it and buy another one. But absolutely love it. And then my fragrance of this month. Technically not of this month, I'm not going to do one every month because I don't wear enough fragrances to warrant that. But this is the one that I'm always going on about, it's my all time favourite fragrance. This is like me in a bottle. It's the Amour Amour Forbidden Kiss and this is what it looks like. I love the packaging, I love this little like thing. To me it's like a target, I always use this as my aimer, like when I spray it because I'm weird like that. But I absolutely love the smell of this. I've used it for the last two years and there's no fragrance like it for me, but I absolutely love this. I would definitely recommend giving this a sniff if you can, if any counters that you know of have it, but that is my fragrance of a lifetime basically. And then my last beauty item is the Percy and Reed Perfectly Perfecting Wonder Balm, so that's a bit of a mouthful, but I got this free with the Elle magazine. And you can use it as a foundation for other styling products. So when you've come out the shower and you've towel dried your hair, you can put it through your hair. And it just helps all the other styling products adhere to your hair and make it last a bit longer and look a little bit neater. But I use mine for when I've done my hair, when it's dry and everything. So like today, I've straightened my hair and then I put a bit of this in my palm. And I basically just smooth it on the edges because obviously I was ill, as I keep saying. But I didn't go to the hairdresser this month to get my hair cut. So it is quite thick at the moment, especially at the ends. It's very thick. So I've been getting a lot more frizzies and flyaways. So I use this. It's also when I wear my hair up, I use this just to kind of, you know, maintain everything that's going on on the top. But I really like it. I would definitely recommend it. And when that's finished, even though it will probably last me the next year or so, um, I'll definitely repurchase it. And onto my two non-beauty favourites of the month, starting with the Rude Health Oat and Spelt Thins. These are so delicious, like, these have been my saviour this month. I don't even, I've basically been, when I've been peckish, I've been eating these because I find them quite easy to digest and they don't make me feel horrible. But they are 50% oats, 50% spelt. And that's what the back says. There is no added salt. They are high in fiber, organic whole grains, non-GM, no artificial anything. And these are my fourth box in the last two months. I go through them like mad. I have probably two every day when I'm eating these. Um, but I usually have them with either some cottage cheese or some low fat spread cheese with avocado on top and cucumber. Or sometimes I have them with avocado and like a basil pesto. Or I can have them with peanut butter and strawberries. They are so easy. You can make them into savoury or sweet. They're really good if you're on your way to the gym or coming back from the gym. Or if you're going somewhere in the car and you just want a quick snack. Sometimes I even eat them by themselves. Like if I'm feeling a bit, like if I want chips or something, crisps, sorry. Then I'll grab one of these and have some. Or sometimes I have them with some almond butter. It's just really, really good. I definitely recommend these, especially if you're into these kind of things. And my last favourite of the month is the High Living Green Tea Coconut. And this is what I got in my latest scrummy box. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll link that below too. But these are basically green tea flavoured coconut bags. <laughs> and um, I've only managed to have four cups of it this month because I haven't actually drunk that much tea. And I've been sticking to my peppermint tea. But... 
these are absolutely great. I don't like the taste of green tea in general because I find it too bitter. But these are so, so good. And um, I definitely recommend them if you want to drink green tea but you can't because of the flavour. These are all organic. It's got organic coconut and it's also got natural lychee flavour or lychee, however you like to say it. So that is basically it for my April favourites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm about to go record another one for you guys so I can have it up within the week. So if you see me in the same outfit, that is why. And yeah, I hope you all had a really great April. I hope all of you have had better health and skin and everything than I've had this month. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!